Welcome back. Recently, I've been exposing property scams from entrepreneurs, and I'm so happy that more and more of you are checking out my videos and getting warned about all the shady rackets that are out there. If you haven't seen them yet, you can watch them all here. There's a selection of them appearing on the screen, and I'll leave some links in the first comment. Today, I want to share a little theory about furus. That's what I call fake gurus that's been bubbling away in my mind. Have a look and let me know what you think in the comments at the end. Okay, so you've seen my previous videos and you know that I have no time whatsoever for furus and entrepreneurs. I hate the way they target people who just want to improve their lives by selling them ridiculous overpriced property courses where they promise the earth. Okay, maybe not quite the earth, but certainly a multi-million pound portfolio. So pretty much the next best thing. So I've given a lot of thought to these people and I've started to wonder if maybe they aren't really scammers. I know, I know, you think I've lost it, but please hear me out. What if they're really suffering from the Dunning-Kruger effect? Let me explain. Have you ever been astounded at the confidence certain people have in their own ability? Particularly when you're struggling to see any ability in them that's worth shouting about. Yep, we've all been there. An annoying co-worker who thinks they're an expert on everything. An infuriating family member who simply talks over you or a friend who likes the sound of their own voice. You might be a climate change scientist but someone who's done an hour's research on Google thinks they know more about global warming than you. Okay, like me, you could have run a string of ultra-successful businesses, but someone just started out questioning your experience. Did you know that thinking you're great at something, yet in reality your blow average has a name? It's called the Dunning-Kruger effect, after the two psychologists who came up with it. David Dunning and Justin Kruger recognised people who are incompetent at something can be unable to recognise that incompetence. In fact, it's even worse. They have misplaced confidence that they're actually competent. What if these furus really do believe they do know what they're talking about? Obviously, that doesn't mean you should listen to them, but it would explain just why they're so confident in their own ability. I've got another example of people in property who might be suffering from this phenomenon. I've already done a video on rent to renters. Have a look here. That's it appearing on your screen now. There's also a link in the comments. And I reckon they might be deluding themselves too. A rent-to-rent -rent screen is quite straightforward. The rent-to-renter takes a tenancy from the property owner. This would normally be for three to five years. The rent-to-renter then lets individual rooms to subtenants. It's normally a big house and the rent-to-renter will even convert reception rooms into bedrooms to maximise income. Their profit is made from the difference between the monthly rent to the owner and the total rent collected from the subtenants. A furu is going to tell you it's an easy way to make money as an investor. You can make a fortune with very little effort. What they won't tell you are the downsides. They can be really risky. As an investor, you're taking a big gamble. A lot can change during the lease term. Properties can require regular and expensive maintenance. Subtenants can be a nightmare. If one tenant is late with a rent check, it can have a knock-on effect for the whole system. But what happens in a pandemic, when all of a sudden, bookings for the rent-to-renters properties have all been cancelled? That's why I think rent-to-renters might be suffering from Dunning-Kruger. Lots of them are just kidding themselves, or perhaps they're just downright evil. Can you believe that even in the middle of a coronavirus crisis, I'm still hearing about property training gurus pushing this flawed scheme? Holiday let and Airbnb bookings have all dried up, but they claim these properties could be used by NHS workers who are trying to self-isolate during the coronavirus pandemic, or trying not to take the virus home to their families. Or they might like to pretend someone may rent a property who would otherwise have to travel miles to work. They are kidding themselves that they're tackling this virus by helping key workers. Charging health workers sky-high rents isn't helping the national effort. And isn't it a sign of how strange things are that we've got a Conservative Chancellor telling us that we will be judged by our capacity for compassion? Rishi Sunak rightly described this as a generation-defining moment, when we should be able to look back and remember how we stood together. We will be judged by our actions and anyone capitalising on this dreadful time should be ashamed. 
So if you hear any property gurus pushing rent to rent as a get rich scheme during the pandemic, call them out. A property furu could be a classic definition of the Dunning-Kruger effect. Unskilled people making poor decisions or reaching the wrong conclusions, but their incompetence prevents them from recognising their mistakes. What's even worse in the case of furus is that they're charging people a fortune to hear their misguided nonsense. So what do you think about my theory? Reckon I'm onto something? Let me know below and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll tell you everything you need to know about property and business, so hit that notification bell right now.